And there's one more potential predator we'd like you to meet. That's 37-year-old Kazuo Akutsu knocking on our door. He's been chatting online for more than a week with a decoy posing as a 14-year-old. Using the screen name Kaz4541, he asks the girl about having sex on the beach, then says he's not into that. He wants a nice, comfortable bed. He also has a birthday wish, sex with a decoy. Do you want some brownies? Um, not for now. He smelled like he was smoking in the car beforehand and hasn't showered in a couple of days. You didn't bring me any chocolate? No. You know why? Why? Because, um, <clears throat> I didn't want her to find it. What do you mean? You know, the wrapping and everything. I would have so, thrown it away. No. So explain again why no chocolates? I just didn't bring it. You didn't bring it? No. So what's your plan here today? Well, I was going to just see her. He admits her is a 14-year-old girl named Sandy, who we met online. He says he's 37 and works for a major department store in New York City. So you just decided today after work that you're going to jump in the car to meet a 14-year-old girl named Sandy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it? That's it. You thought it was appropriate at the age of 37 to come meet a 14-year-old. Why? Explain that to me. Um, I didn't think it was appropriate. Your chat was pretty darn explicit with her. Yeah. And you acknowledge in the chat that the age thing could be a problem. Sandy, I am more than twice your age. Mm -hmm. I know what I did. What am I going to do now? Then Kaz4541 says he's feeling ill. You talk about or having a hard time enjoying sex because she's a virgin and that it might hurt. Can I please go to bed? You can, you can go if you'd like to, but I, I think I need to tell you something first. And that's I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet kids online for sex. Now, if there's anything else you want to say, we'd like to hear it. If not, you can obviously walk out the door you came in. We call for an EMT who comes in and examines him. It turns out to be nothing serious. Yeah, he's clammy. He's definitely... Come on, let's get up to your feet. Let see your head. All right. He's escorted out of the house and is later arrested. Lieutenant Neville says he recovered pretty quickly. We brought him back to the police department had a medic at the police department that monitored his blood pressure and heart rate and pulse or, and pretty much was cleared to go back to the jail. Later, he goes before a judge and his bail is set. Your bail is set at $50,000 with no 10% eligibility. 